Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to your favorite radio talk show about not much, but whatever goes through my brain. It's probably the only one that's like that, exactly. Because I only have one brain and I don't pass it around. So, (laughs) that's a little bit of stream of consciousness for you. Um, let's get on with it. What are we talking about tonight? We're talking about Legos. Let's talk about this. And uh, before we get started on that, just a disclaimer. Okay. Uh, This show, nor am I personally, nor is the entirety of the Uncanny uh, Media Network, sponsored by, paid by, or otherwise involved with the Lego company whatever the main brand is that carries lego we are not affiliated i'm just doing this show because i like them okay i didn't get paid to do it i'm not a paid sponsor i'm not a paid uh spokesman or anything like that so here we are talking about legos so i hope i'm allowed to do that because i know brands are kind of iffy about using their brands when you talk about them i've been trying to avoid that kind of thing throughout the show but legos are pretty specific you have different kinds, like you've got knockoff kinds, and then you have some others that are not really knockoffs, but they're kind of knockoffs, but they aren't. You have like Mega Blocks and, and stuff like that, and Playmobil is a little bit like that for some of their build parts. But, um, yeah. Legos. If you don't know what Legos are, you will when you step on one. Don't try that as an experiment. Don't go out and be like, hmm, you want me to know what it's like to step on a Lego? I'm going to see if I can... Oh, my gosh. They're pretty painful because they're all sharp edges. They hurt. They're all sharp edges, and if you step on them, it's like a caltrop, like a ninja like pile of, of you know, jacks when you're playing that jacks with the marble and the rubber ball or, or whatever. I don't know. I don't play jacks. I have no idea what I'm talking about, as you already know. But Legos are a brick building system nominally for kids but adults get into them too and they some adults really get into them now i don't have any more legos of my own when i moved out of my folks house i gave away my legos to a cousin and i'm sure they had a good home from there i had a pretty sizable collection and yes that's what i did with mine but as a kid As a kid, I really enjoyed Legos. I built all kinds of things. I built my own transforming Power Rangers Zord transformer thing robot that that you could actually manipulate in a way so that you could transform it from a robot to something else without taking it apart, which is pretty good for Legos because usually with Legos, you got to take them apart and rebuild them and things like that because they're fragile. But I didn't have to do that. I was pretty proud of it. I wish I'd kind of... Back then, we didn't have smartphones to take pictures. So, when I was a youngin, we didn't have these smartphones. All we had was corded phones. And cordless phones were just kind of starting to get big. But mostly, we had corded phones. And dial-up internet. Good old dial-up internet. Some people still have dial-up internet. I don't know how they survive. (laughs) But anyway, Legos. I built all kinds of things. I built uh, I built pirate ships. I built spaceships. I built robots. I built giant caves for dragons to live in. I had a little Lego dragon with little wings and things like that. I had little sharks. I had horses for, for knights to ride on. I had all kinds of things. I didn't have a lot of your big branded sets that were just starting to come out at the time. I didn't have Star Wars themed sets so much. I didn't have anything like that. I had all the classic sort of Lego style, like Lego Pirates and Lego City and and Lego this. I had this one beachfront property thing where it was like on a beach and it was an ice cream shop. And it had like a little buggy and a lifeguard tower and and some things like that. And that was kind of cool. And um, I had a, a bunch of different vehicles. I had a couple of Technic things. Technic is a whole other level of Lego, let me tell you. Most Lego is just these the bricks, and you put the bricks together, you have the little people, and you make things, and sometimes you get like a wheel or like an axle or something. But Technic has gears with big, with fine and uh, fine or widely spaced teeth, 
and multiple plugins and things, and you can actually make machines that move and that function and that do things. Like it's incredible. You can put little motors in there and like make them do stuff. It's 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 great. It's fantastic. And uh, I had a few of those. I wasn't ever very good at it. I didn't at the time have a head for engineering, even though I did make my own transforming robot. But I didn't have a head for the Technic stuff. I wasn't, I wasn't into that so much. <sighs> Scotch break. But uh, but I liked them. I like Legos, and I, I built stuff with them all the time. And even though I didn't have the major sets, the actual themed stuff like Star Wars and whatnot, I made my own. Like I made my own Star Wars ships and things, and flew them around, blasted them to pieces. And I made my own little play sets and stuff like that. So I had stuff like that. But I didn't have the actual branded stuff. Which was fine. If you have, if you have enough Legos, you can use your imagination and you can make anything. You can make just about anything that you want out of them. And I did. For quite a long time. Now, as an adult, people still do a lot of stuff with Lego. They actually have big Lego competitions and things like that. Like, there's a show on... What is it? Is it on Netflix? Or is it on Hulu? Here I go with more brands and things. I don't know. I don't know which one it's on. I think it might be on Hulu. Maybe. Or it might be on Netflix. Or it might be on Amazon. Who knows? I have no idea. I don't remember where all this stuff is at. But they have a show that's on its third season. It's called Lego Masters. And it's got Will Arnett as the host. I don't know if you guys know who that is. He's got a pretty distinctive voice. He does the voice for Lego Batman in the Lego movies. And I'll get to those in a minute because that's a whole other thing that came out as an adult that I missed out on as a kid. We didn't have that when I was a kid. But he he hosts this competition where you have these people from all over the country who have these teams and they build these really big fantastic things and pin them up against each other. Like who's got the best sculpture? Who's got the best... Um, scene involving a giant monster. Who's got the best this? Who's got the best that? And they'll sometimes have times where you gotta make them super strong. Like they had a skyscraper challenge where you had to make it strong enough to withstand like an earthquake machine. So they had this little table underneath that would move it and rattle it and shake it and see if it could shake it apart at different levels. And sometimes they blow them up and things for dramatic effect. So they've got that. And these pe- and there's these people are, are really talented. Like I can't do as much as they do. I can't do the kind of stuff they did. Maybe if I had the patience or and I had enough Legos. But man, I'll tell you. It's very talented. Very talented. And they... They they do stuff apart from the show. Like a lot of these people go to competitions where they'll go to conventions. And they'll build things in little competitions against each other. And they'll win prizes and trophies and things. And it's, it's crazy. Speaking of conventions... My daughter is 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 into Legos these days. She's into Legos. She hasn't. She doesn't have very many yet, because we were we were worried that we'd have to, you know, that we'd be stepping on them all over the place when she was a little younger, or that she wouldn't take care of them and, and whatnot. And they'd be scattered around her room. And but now she's getting to an age where you know you're a bit more responsible. You're gonna be. You're a big kid now. You can you can play with the Legos. You can get some Legos. So she doesn't have any major sets, but she's got some themed sets from, well, she's got one themed set and then a bunch of accessories, mostly from um, from Lego movie-related stuff. And I'll tell you why in a minute, because i got to get to those movies. But what we did was recently, yesterday, in fact, as of this broadcast, as of the live broadcast, yesterday, we were up near Cleveland, Ohio, which is a little bit, it's a little, it's, you know, nominally, nominally about half hour, 45 minutes away. And we were at a spot that was called Middleburg Heights, which is about an hour away. It's on the other side of Cleveland. On one side or the other. Greater Cleveland area, I guess. And we went up there to the the county fairgrounds, and they had a brick convention. Which sounds great. It's like, oh man, a brick convention. It was, it was kind of, uh, I was kind of disappointed in it, I'll tell you that. And she's going to be listening to this tomorrow, so she'll probably agree with some of my points. But it was like a three-hour event. They did it in, in stages, so they could try to control how many people were in there at a time. 
and it, it didn't it didn't really help because it was packed with people. It was in a little it was a pretty small building, all things considered at the fairgrounds, a little like animal showing building that that in the off season they use them for events and things. And so they had all these displays and all this. Oh man, it was great. I got pictures and things all up on my Facebook for for anybody who follows that. But um, all kinds of things people built. Huge Star Wars displays. A uh, a couple of displays that were almost as tall as I was. Like the Eiffel Tower. There was like a, a, a build of the Titanic made out of Legos that was probably as long as my entire arm. Maybe longer. And that's like from the, the shoulder on down to the fingers. And... All kinds of things. And then they had vendors selling like individual figures and rare sets and, and stuff you can't find anymore and discontinued stuff. And she she uh, <laughs> she got a lot of things. She got a lot of things. She didn't get any of the big sets because, man, the prices. These are convention prices, you know. And then convention prices can be a little up there. And, uh, and we're just reorganizing our finances here had some financial struggles last few months no you know i'm not saying that just to get some sympathy or anything i'm just saying you know it happens you spend too much sometimes you get you know bills get out of control everything's fine you know we're all good it's just you know you gotta watch how much you spend but we had a little bit of a a little bit extra this time so she bought a bunch of little individual figures most of her individual figures and this is where we get back to the movies here are about her favorite lego character and that's Unikitty. It's a cat unicorn. You heard that right. It's a cat unicorn. And if you listen back, way, way back, to episode two, I think it was, of season one of this very podcast, you'll know that she was on, my daughter was on as a guest, as a unicorn expert. So you know how much she likes unicorns. And she likes cats. She likes kittens and unicorns. There you go. And giant scaly dinosaurs. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so she got most of those. And so her favorite character is this Unikitty. And it's from the Lego movies 1 and 2. There's two of them. And they're pretty funny. Like, they, the, the first one pretty heavily involves Will Ferrell as the bad guy and it also has uh, Chris Pratt as the random Lego construction worker and uh, it's got Morgan Freeman and a bunch of other people a bunch of other random Nick Offerman's in it he's a pirate he's a pirate named Metal Beard and a lot of these people are in both the first and the second movie so you're getting a lot of consistency there and there's some it, it talks about growth between the two like it it involves real people playing with the Legos and then the Legos having their own thoughts and opinions and things. So it's pretty interesting. It's pretty well done. It's pretty well done. And, um... But her favorite character is Unikitty. And I'm not gonna tell you too much about it. You gotta watch it for yourself to see what Unikitty is like. But Unikitty also has her own separate TV show of Lego Adventures on Hulu. And so she's been watching it lately. And man... It's weird. <laughs> it's a weird show, but it's okay. She likes it. She likes it, and she has characters from that show. But then there's Lego Batman, which is a whole Batman adventure, which is actually a pretty good story if you peel back all the Lego comedy. It's a pretty solid story, for the most part. If you made it into a serious Batman movie, it would stand up pretty well, minus, like I said, the uh, the, the Lego humor and things. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's, you know, all that's pretty good. The Lego humor kind of adds to it. And, uh, she really likes that, too. She's got a shirt of Lego Batman that she got at the convention. And, uh, all kinds of things. And this the same Lego Batman character from the Batman movie is in the other two movies. Like, he does that between the first and second. And they reference it in the second one. So it's all one big shared universe. It's not like a separate, like, Lego Batman is separate. Now, they do have various shows and specials on places like Netflix and Amazon and Hulu and, and wherever that are like DC superhero Lego Legos 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 Lego and uh, Marvel Lego and things like that and those have different voices they're not the same celebrity voices and they're different storylines and, and things like that but they're still fun 
they're still interesting. They still have the same kind of tropes and stuff in them. But yeah, Legos. And uh, and I have a story. I have a story. I have a story about Legos when I was a kid. <laughs> and I'll get to that in just a minute. Um, we, in addition to the movies, in addition to the, the physical Legos, there's Lego games, too. There's Lego uh, games on the Xbox. My daughter's got, like, I don't know how many she's got. I had a few, like there was Star Wars Lego and, and and some other ones, but we got the Lego Movie 1 and 2 games, so you play through the adventures of both movies. And then she's got Lego Worlds, which is basically a sandbox where you can build whatever you want and make whatever characters you want and all this other good stuff. Then there's Lego DC Villains where you play as the Joker and stuff like that. There's Lego Hobbit. There's Lego Lord of the Rings, there's Lego Indiana Jones, Lego Batman games, there's three Lego Batman games. All kinds. And she's big into those too, she really likes those games. She has a lot of fun with them. She was playing it today, actually. She was playing one of them today and and building things that she saw from the Unikitty show, of course. Because she loves that show. <laughs> now, uh, now my story. My story. Okay, when I was a kid. When I was a kid, and they still do it every year. They have a, a county fair in the town where I went to school. It was in Pennsylvania. I went to school in Pennsylvania and lived in Ohio. Well, you know, I kind of lived in Pennsylvania at the time, too. But that's complicated. I'll get to, I'll get to that in another episode. But there was a county fair. And um, and so I built one of my Lego things, and I built it, I think it was like a, a dragon cave or something, I don't remember, something like that. And I built it, and I entered it in the fair, and I was like, I, I don't think I'll win anything, it's just, it's just a, a Lego build, you know. But other people had put in Lego builds before, and those are alongside... The crocheted items and the quilts and and all the other the dolls people make because people do all these other homemade things for this county fair, and so this was mine. And it won a blue ribbon. It won a blue ribbon. I was really proud of it. But the thing was, the thing was, none of my friends knew that it was me, because as a kid, I. I talked kind of quiet. I still do. I mean, I'm, I've got this voice I do for the radio show here, but I mostly talk like this, just so you guys know. I'm, I'm kind of quiet. I don't say much. But this is my radio voice, as you guys know, because you got to do that for the radio. <laughs> and um, so I, 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 they asked me, oh yeah, what's the name? Who? What's your name? And I said my name. But for some reason, they got the name wrong. And so the name they wrote... In addition to my last name, they wrote that my first name was Fred. My name is not Fred. <laughs> it is not Fred. But when people came to look at the display, like, oh yeah, that Fred, he won a blue ribbon. And I'm like, I'm not Fred. I ain't no Fred. I'm, I'm, just, I'm not. I'm not Fred. I'm me. Here's my name. But, you know, that teach taught me a little bit. Teached me. That taught me to speak a little bit more clearly with a little bit more enunciation because I didn't want to be a Fred so that's my story <laughs> it's a it's a funny story to me it's, it may not be funny to you but it's funny to me <sighs> scotch break so yeah Legos oh another thing too now they've got people make custom Lego sets and uh, they take like whatever available parts they can find, and they make their own custom sets. Like there's, and some of these weren't actual. Some of them became Lego sets after the fact. Like people make Blade Runner sets, where they make Harry Potter sets, and some of that became official later on because Lego actually saw what people were making. They're like, oh yeah, we'll have a contest. We'll see what the next big franchise is going to be, and they still got to get the rights from the movie holders and the studios and all that other kind of stuff to make them. But there's all kinds of things. Back to the Future, Lego sets, and all sorts of things. Even even my favorite thing, even my, my Transformers have sort of Legos. They have something called Creo. K-R-E hyphen O. 
Don't ask me why. Cray O. But it's little Lego Transformers, basically. It's like it's almost the same thing. I don't know what would differentiate it. It's just not made by the Lego people, so it can't be called Lego. But it's essentially the same kind of thing. And you mix and match the parts to make the different custom robots and, and whatnot. And I don't have any because I don't get into that so much anymore. I don't get into Lego myself because where would I store it? I already have a hard enough time storing all these robots and everything else and all these pets like this cat. It's in my face right now. But <laughs> this is Tim complaining. He's like, Bleh. but um, yeah, they make Lego Transformers, and I don't know. If, I don't think they actually transform. They're little mini figures, but they make bigger ones. Constructabots, as they call them, Constructabots, which is still licensed Transformer products, and those ones I think do transform, but they're basically made out of the same bricks, and it's, it's crazy, the engineering of that kind of stuff, it's crazy stuff, crazy stuff, Legos, but yeah, I don't get into it too much. Not so much anymore, but she is. She's starting to get into it. And I'm going to try to get her a few of the actual, like, full sets if I can get them for a good price. Probably going to have to go to different toy stores and look around and try to compare some prices and things. Do some savvy shopper kind of stuff, you know. That kind of thing. I was going to have something else that I was going to say, and then I didn't remember what it was. I was talking about... Before I get into the, the robots, I was talking about the different sets. They got, like, Disney princesses and that kind of stuff, too. Like, all kinds of things. They even have sets that are marketed towards towards girls as opposed to boys, which is kind of silly in this day and age, because girls and boys like a lot of the same things anymore. I mean, yeah, you can, you know, throw princesses out or transform robots or whatever, but I don't know. They mostly like the same stuff if you give them a chance, so why well, don't just market them for both? Whatever. And goes, what was I going to say? There was something else in there, and now it's out of my brain and gone. It was like a brief thought that I was going to put in there, and then it disappeared. I don't know. I told my story. Talked about Lego movies. Talked about Lego games. Talked about you, Nikitty. And now I don't know. I don't know. Oh well. I'm sure it'll come back to me as soon as I turn this episode off. Something will come up and be like, Oh yeah, it's what this is. Oh. There's a few Lego things we haven't really gotten into. Like I have, She hasn't watched and I haven't... Because these are new and they're past my experience. Like they have this entire ninja-themed... Lego set called Ninjago, and when I say set, I mean it's like multiple sets. It's it's a huge collection of things. It's got a show, it's got movies, it's got games, and it's got all this other, all in its own self-contained little thing. And I haven't really looked at it at all. I don't know. I don't know what to do about it. Oh, there's another one I never really got into, but I know people that did. Bionicle. Bionicle was a weird kind of technic kind of hybrid thing where you built these robotic creatures that all looked like they had the Predator mask from the Predator movie and they all battled each other and they had a show and maybe a game too, I don't know I guess it was pretty big for a while but I never really got too deep into it I never had any Bionicle stuff she actually has one Bionicle toy but it's not official it's like a McDonald's toy and uh, and we use it as like a transformer. It's a, like a she calls a white dragon, um, and he transforms into a sled, something like that. He he doesn't you know he doesn't really transform, but we pretend he does anyway because you can move his arms and his his head in a certain direction. And he's a bionicle, but he doesn't have any of the ports or any of the plugs, and he doesn't come apart because he's a McDonald's toy. He's not an actual buildable thing, but. So I don't know, maybe she'll watch that. I don't know if she'll be into that or not. I I don't have no idea what the storyline is. I have no idea if it's worth watching, if it's good, if it's fun. But I know people who have them and collected all the sets and like built the figures and they're like, oh yeah, Bionicle. So, you know, there's that too. It's a pretty wide-ranging area. And there is a theme park. Oh, that might be what I was going to talk about. There's a theme park called Legoland. And I don't remember if it's in Florida or California. They might have two. I think it's just one. 
Maybe it's Florida. Because I think we were talking about it the other day, and it was actually ended up being a closer a closer trip than it would have been otherwise, which would have meant it was being Florida, because California is a lot farther from me. I feel a sneeze going on, so I'm going to see if I can... <coughs> oh, there, blast that out for you. <laughs> Pardon me. But yeah, Legoland, and they have all this huge stuff, like everything there... The majority is made out of Lego. All these big displays, life-size figures. They have rides made of Lego. They have big life-size cars made of Lego, like life-size Lamborghini and Porsche and stuff like that, that work with Technic. I mean, they don't go like the actual car does, but they move a little bit. Like, you could actually roll them from place to place, which is pretty impressive. And, uh, yeah, Legoland. You can go. You can go there. And the thing about Lego I like is that they all the sets, they come with instructions. They come with really good instructions that show you piece by piece how to build everything. But then when you're bored, you can be like, nah, forget all that. You can take it apart and build whatever you want out of it. You don't have to ever build the same set that's on the instructions. You can build whatever you want with the Legos. So it's great for your imagination. If you've got all these thoughts of all these toys that you can't get as a kid, like maybe either they're sold out or they're too expensive or your parents don't think you can have them for whatever reason or something like that. You just take your Legos out and you think, well, I'm going to make my own. And you build it. It's not the same, of course, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I built all kinds of things out of Legos. All kinds of castles and boats and spaceships and, and all kinds of stuff. And there's a lot of variety. You can you can go and just get random stuff. Build them with the instructions. Be like, oh yeah, this is cool. I built what was there. But what I really want is I want to use these pieces for something, which is why I wanted the set. And then you just take it apart. Build something with whatever other sets you got. Just combine everything. It makes the most ridiculous, crazy thing you can. It's great. It's great stuff. It's good for kids. Good for kids. Just don't don't have them out where you can step on them. <laughs> don't have them out where you can step on them. Now, something funny that I watched is uh, I watched a couple of a couple of presenters, formerly of a car show, from the UK with the initials TG. They're on Amazon with another show where the initials are backwards called GT. And these two car presenters had a competition building, I don't remember what the car was. They were building, maybe it was a McLaren. I don't remember, but they were building Legos. They had a little to drink, and they had to answer these trivia questions. And then if they missed, then they had to take a drink and then build the sets while they had a bit of a drink. And that's getting a little bit adult for this show, because I'm trying to keep it family-friendly. So I'm not going to get too much into the alcohol references other than that other than the fact that I'm having a drink myself but um it was pretty funny watching two guys like banter back and forth trying to outbuild each other with these really technical builds because they weren't just the bricks they were the technic builds with all like the working not working engine like you could fire it up but I mean it would spin the gears and all that other good stuff it was under and it went on for like an hour and a half and it was supposed to be like a half hour video at most <laughs> it's on YouTube it's on YouTube, and uh, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. And I thought about doing stuff like that. I thought about doing some some Lego building live for uh, for videos for the YouTube channel. Because remember, don't forget, this podcast goes out to YouTube. And everything else I do, I do goes out on YouTube. And I've got lots of content there. Hint, hint. Like, share, subscribe. The mantra. The modern mantra. Like, share, subscribe. And uh, I could do some Lego builds. You know? I could do some Lego builds. I don't think I'll do speed builds. Because I don't do well trying to like go fast. And sometimes these Lego things, they have little tiny pieces. But still. Still. Legos. And that's what I have about that. I like them. Once again, I'm not a paid spokesperson. I, Lego does not sponsor the show. They didn't give me any complimentary Lego sets to do this. 
I just, I, I liked Legos as a kid. My daughter likes them now, and I think it's great. I think it's a great thing. It's good for the imagination, and it's good. So, there you have it. If you don't have any Legos, go out and get some. Or if, go get some for your kids or something. Or, you know, whatever. Just get them for yourself. Just play with some Legos. Build whatever you want. It's great. Take it apart. Build something else. Glue it together. Keep it together forever. Who knows? I don't care. Do whatever you want with them. You can do that. You have the power to do that with Legos. All right? All right. Ooh, pardon me. So, that being said, and if you get the chance, watch the Lego movies. They're pretty funny. And they're good for both kids and adults, too. It's not like it's just kids' movies. They have a lot of good jokes in there. I don't mean adult jokes like, ha ha, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, that the kids don't understand. I mean, there's good all-around, like, people jokes in there. The Batman movie is pretty good, too. I mean, that one's hilarious. If you're a Batman fan of comics or anything, yeah, I'd watch that. I did watch that. I'm telling you to watch it. Go watch it. After this is over, go watch those movies. They're on streaming somewhere. I have them all purchased. Of course I do. We've watched them many times. But you can go out and you can stream them and you can watch them. And you should do it today. Unless, like, it's late and you gotta work in the morning. I don't know. Whatever. But no more excuses after that. Okay? Do it. Watch the Lego movies and Lego Batman. All right, so that's it. That's all I got. Um, let's see. Promotion. It is Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. So that's why you're listening to this show right now. Unless you're listening to it three weeks later on Spotify or on YouTube or wherever. In which case, I have no idea what day it is. But for me, it's Monday, which means tomorrow is Tuesday. And that's Twitch Tuesday. I'll be on my gaming channel. D-M-G-R-G-N. Tune in. I'll play something for you. After that, Wednesday is free and clear. Nothing on Wednesday so far. Looking for something to fill up that time slot. Thursday, Uncanny Spirits Club, if you're a grown-up. Friday, This Uncanny Earth. Good stuff there. And Saturday, another episode of The Saturday Spiritualist. So there you go. There's the whole week. You have no excuse but to tune in to absolutely everything all right okay now that we've got that we're done and uh i'm gonna leave you guys and i hope you have a good night i'll see you for let's talk about this next week